here's where you enter the room. They have a little hole here so you can you know, look outside. You can also keep it closed. It also tells you that we are assembly station U. So I guess it's, it's split up based on by what room you're in. And then here you have, you insert a card here. You can use your Key of the World card or you can use some other kind of card. We have an old Walt Disney World Resort key that we're using. So that we stuck in there and that will turn the electricity on or like all your lights on in the cabin. And that will, we have the master switch on now. You can switch it off and they'd be off. Then as soon as you walk into your left, this is the bathroom. Both doors are the bathroom, but it's split into two. So here, look at the cute little detail. They have Disney Cruise here. So you go in here and it says caution watch your step because you do actually have to take a step up so in here you have oh, this isn't open well fyi that does not open i wasn't sure if it did or not but you have down here a towel you have a waste basket here is your sink you might hear the kids in the background they're playing oh the baby's right here he's gonna come hang with us so hi so here you have some shelves right here they really made use of the space here are you doing some magic, buddy? Here's your sink. You have your soap here. You have your hand towel here with the Disney uh, Cruise Line logo. You have a few more shelves over here. And then you have a couple of hooks, which Johnny is already making use of. You have your toilet down here. Hey, buddy. And you have your toilet paper. And I guess that's maybe to clean the toilet. And then there's also another shelf over here with some toilet paper and I actually don't know what this is. Oh, okay. So if you have um, sharp space, so they have that for you there. So this is a cool feature too. So you have two lights here. So you have your main light, but if you turn that off, we have the night light. So it illuminates the floor down there. So if you want to leave this on at night and leave your door open a little bit, it's like a night light. So then moving over to this door, again, it says here, caution, watch your step. So in here, you have, where's the light switch? I haven't been in the sun yet. So here's your light switch. And then, hello again. You have your shower, so you have to step up. Here, it closes, or I guess it goes, oh, look at that, it goes both, uh, swings in and it swings out. You have a bar here to hold on to, you have your shower. You also have several shelves in there. So you have your shower head here, you have your H2O body wash, conditioner, and hey. shampoo. And here is the tub down here. And then over here we have another sink. We have more shelving. Oh, this says makeup, so I wonder if this is to, maybe you just add water in one of those special cloths and take off your makeup. And then we have H2O body lotion. And then here they have a special Disney Cruise Line H2O facial soap. And then over here they have some bath towels with the Disney Cruise logo and a couple more hooks. And again, watch your step because you're gonna have to step down. What'd you find, buddy? Show mommy. They have, it says, be friendly to the earth and oceans. It's probably telling you to conserve water and whatnot. And yes, he found Ariel. And they have another waste basket over there. They also have tissues in the middle over there. Now coming back this way. So again, here's your door. You can open this closet right here. A light turns on. Here's one of the life jackets. They have some hangers. They have a robe, of course, with the Disney Cruise logo on it so closing this one it also lets you know there's a life vest in here and a life vest in here so we'll open this one slide to open so in here you have two more life vests they also have a laundry bag for you with the disney cruise logo on it and then it gives you like the list of the laundry services here and what everything costs you can look this up online too but they do have that here and then you have your safe right here and then you just have a couple more shelves uh, down here and then we'll shut that then next to that we have another door that slides and you have another life vest up here we have hangers here if you do open the bunk bed here is the ladder for the bunk bed and then here is the bed uh, rail that we'll use possibly for Winnie later you want to close it buddy go ahead so then you can shut watch out both of these then over here if you have adjoining rooms here is where your joining room would be. There's also a hook up here if you wanted to hang something. This is where the pack and play and the diaper genie are that we requested. So that will get, uh, well, the pack and play will be done later. Here's the TV when he's watching the Tigger movie and when he is sitting on the bed, which says, wish for the Disney wish. Comfy? So here is the bed. So now we have a double stroller and uh, yeah, people said it'd be difficult to uh, maneuver with a stroller. They weren't kidding. We could not get the stroller in. We had to fold it upwards 
and then it's going to just have to kind of live right here and then here on the end we have a little nightstand it has a drawer in there then i guess this is one of those like adapters <laughs> johnny's back you have your light switches here so you have one for your reading lamp a small reading lamp and one for a larger one and then we have the cinderella room so here is the cinderella mural on this side and if we walk our way around over here there is another nightstand a floating nightstand and you can have a drawer here right now i'm charging my phone so they have two outlet plugs like regular outlet plugs two usbs and then i forget what that's called but another outlet plug then over here you have more light switches you have your small reading light and your lamp and then you have a curtain here so if you wanted to separate you know the room so the kids Winnie will sleep here and the baby will sleep in the pack and play over here so let's just say we wanted to close this at night we could do that and then up here if you were to use the bunk bed this get johnny's checking it out that gets pulled down as the bunk bed and over here we've got cinderella again because we are in a cinderella room there she is and then we have a couch which turns into the bed this part will fold down to make a bed and then coming this way i'll let johnny take you on the veranda because <laughs> i am a little terrified to go out there but this is a look at the outside just note when we came in the lock was not locked john happens to notice that so here it tells you how to lock it so just when you come in the room make sure you uh, make sure that the lock is locked especially if you have small children it is a little bit difficult to open the handle but still so that's the veranda then coming over here you have some shelves over here they give you some glasses with a little tray here with the disney cruise logo on top there's more outlets over here from what I hear, the Disney Wish has a lot more outlets than the other uh, ships. So we have more plugs over here. Let me know in the comments down below. What is this one called? I What is that called, Johnny? I don't know what that's called. The weird oblong one. Is that for European travelers? No, that's what I think that's for. Because I've had that when I've traveled to oh, Europe. Which one are you talking about? This one right here. Oh, that's it. Let us know in the comments down below. I, I have something like that. Then over here we have... Whoops. Well, you have a... For like Apple a table. Watches. Oh, that's what I thought. Johnny said Apple Watches. We have a little table here, which you know I had pushed in front of the uh, the door here because the baby was you know looking outside. And then you have a oh here's the refrigerator. I was wondering where that was. So it's it's not very cold. I guess if you had maybe like cans, it would be good for that. But yeah, yeah it's not very cold. I wonder if you can make it any colder if you can regulate it. Then over here, a little cabinet and then oh here oh interesting here's where your hair dryer is and i guess they give you like some instructions tips for traveling with lithium metal and rechargeable lithium ion batteries so they give you that and what's under there okay oh this is cool this is a cool feature so they give you one of these like if you have a flat iron please place your heated styling tools on this protected mat so that's pretty interesting that you have this the baby is singing you have a little ottoman here so you can pull that out and then over here you have okay your guide to criminal activity prevention and response missing persons always good information to have a bunch of different numbers the baby is singing if you wanted room service if you wanted to have breakfast so you take out this little thing uh like the door handle here and you'd write your room number your name and number of people and then you can check off you have to do it by 3 a.m you tell them when you want it delivered and then you can select it's basically like pastries and things but sorry the baby is singing <laughs> they also give you a little envelope here and a little letterhead with disney wish and a pen as well then our travel agent we love her she's one of my good friends her husband is also a very good friend of mine she sent us a little fruit basket that says have a magical time on the wish and that's from Alex so you guys I will link her below she is amazing so it's our first time using a travel agent and I mean I've known Alex for a few years now I've known her husband even longer highly recommend using her as a travel agent and so look a cute little fruit basket or if you wanted to send that to somebody I guess you could do that too but it has a Disney wish bow on it so thank you so much Alex we really appreciate that and then over here we have the <laughs> You guys are getting a whole, are you just singing for everybody? Are you giving them a show? Huh? You just singing along. Then over here you have more lights for the balcony, the curtain, the ceiling, and the mirror. So like look for example, 
There is the Hi, mirror light. And, then, and now it's Winnie's turn to sing. Then you have a few more shelves over here. You have some tissues. You have a phone. And then you have your uh, wastebasket out here as well. So that is the room. It's not very big. Oh, and there's also a hook there, which I didn't show you guys. But, you know, this is the room. And uh, I'm going to give you to Johnny real quick because he'll show you the veranda outside. So show everyone how to open it and take them out there. So here's how you unlock your veranda slide and then as KJ mentioned the door handle also has some extra protection you gotta turn it 180 degrees open it this is our view I'm told it will change though but this is our view for now and we have room for two Room for two on the table. It's got plexiglass, so even if you do have young kids, they should be protected. You still have to be careful about them climbing up. I would say the railing is probably about three and a half feet high. It's about hip high, and I'm six one, six two. It's a little bit higher than hip high on me. Yeah, so we're on the seventh deck. This is how high up we are. Still in Port Canaveral as I filmed this.